non-consensual pelvic exams are still happening in teaching hospitals across the U.S. T.W. Sa. This topic gained a lot of traction a few years back, but has since faded into the background without many changes being made. Some states have stepped up, but many others have failed. Imagine checking into the hospital for a procedure on your leg. You're put under anesthesia, and while you're out, an entire rotation of med students get to practice performing a vaginal exam on you. You were never informed, never consented, and in most cases, you never find out. The thought process of the doctors who do this is that students need a way to learn these procedures and you never know it happened to you, so no harm no foul, right? Wrong. Just read about this case where the woman woke up during her non-consensual pelvic exam. Or this woman, who after specifically requesting no medical students be involved in her procedure had one nonchalantly tell her she had gotten her period. This practice is not only a complete violation of the patient's human rights, it's also potentially dangerous if the hospital doesn't have her complete OBGYN notes and records. Imagine this happening to a woman with vaginismus, who is now terrified and confused as to why after a procedure on her ear she's experiencing soreness and discomfort in her vaginal area. It's why I avoid teaching hospitals at all costs, despite living near one of the best ones in the country. I advise any woman not living in one of these states who will listen to do the same. Also, give this recent news piece a watch. It has some great up-to-date info about the ongoing fight to have this practice made illegal. ETA If you're ever having a life-threatening emergency, please don't let this deter you from going to a teaching hospital if that's the closest one if you're having a true medical emergency, I don't think they will take the time to do unnecessary procedures or exams over saving your life. Edit 2 To clear up some confusion, this does actually happen to men as well for prostate exams. It's just not nearly as common. Absolutely infuriating and disgusting when I had surgery to remove my fibroids I had a lovely nurse at the intake. He totally put me at ease, so much so that I looked him straight in the eye when I said I don't consent to having anyone perform gynecological exams on me while I'm under anesthesia. He looked absolutely horrified and said no one has ever done that here, nor ever will. That's how I learned these exams are illegal in California. There is a bill to ban this practice in Colorado right now. I am a woman. I get that they need to learn if we want crude, brutal gyno exams to end. Why the f don't they I'd be totally fine with it. Just tell me where to sign. I read the Times article you linked and even though I already know all of this information, I was re-enraged. This quote particularly infuriated me. As doctors that care about women's health, we don't want to relegate pelvic exams to something that's taboo, Dr. Godkin said. We want students to learn how to recognize abnormalities and do a good, comfortable exam. Do a good, comfortable exam? Do it on conscious patients you fucking rapist. Nothing is more uncomfortable than realizing you had a non-consensual medical procedure done on you. FYI, there's a bipartisan bill advancing in Colorado HB 1077 to ban this practice. We need this everywhere. I usually chose teaching hospitals because they often have the niche specialties I need so this is terrifying. I did wake up from surgery once with some spotting and assumed I got my period I will keep on believing this so please seriously please no one tell me otherwise. It's so sad to see that none of my five surgeries have been in a state where this is illegal going to make sure to really read the paperwork going forward it's great to know that once again the medical system in the US hates anyone that isn't a CIS man. FFS, this is like a real life horror movie. It's technically a rape isn't it? Or sexual assault at least. I'm missing the part where you can finger without consent if you are a maybe future doctor? I've consented to an IUD placement at a teaching hospital where the doctor asked if other students could come while he teaches them how to place IUDs. Sure. I didn't mind. Then he proceeded to painfully open up my cervix and then decided that it was time to turn around and give a long explanation about how to do everything while I spent the next few minutes writhing in pain on the table. Fuck that. Never again. Also thanks. 
you reminded me that I forgot to send a complaint to my new obgin about her non-trauma-informed pelvic examinations. I remember reading about this for the first time. I was disgusted. I'm so glad I live somewhere this is banned, but the fact that it was ever allowed at all is despicable. Calling rape a non-consensual pelvic exam is like calling punching someone a non-consensual field test of the strength of a human nose. That's horrible I couldn't find anything about it in Germany. Does anybody know if this is happening here too? Could any hospital be a teaching hospital if they have medical students? I have a feeling this happened to me during a procedure on my foot but I'm not sure if it was a teaching hospital. I wonder if there's a way to find out. There is no excuse for this to be happening. There are plenty of women who don't care and would probably give consent for the procedures, but there are millions of women who have been victims of sexual assault, or who just don't want to have an invasive procedure performed while they're unconscious without their permission. Do men get prostate exams while they're knocked out without giving permission? I really doubt it, but if they do, that's wrong too. Jesus that's terrifying. I'm a guy and if someone let alone a group did a prostate exam on me without my knowledge or consent I'd be ready to burn the fucking place down. Are you sure there's no legal recourse here? I thought consent would be required for any medical procedure including a pap which you obviously didn't give. God this is awful. When I was at the end of my pregnancy, the nurses at the OBGYN told me matter-of-factly that a student would be there today to observe me. I was being checked for dilation, which is incredibly invasive. I told them that no, I don't feel comfortable with that and I only want my doctor in the room. WTF, I know if I didn't have more fight in my blood I would have been violated in that concern having unwanted people involved in a very, sensitive environment. They made it sound like I had no option. FYI when I was a nurse practitioner student 25 years ago, my teaching hospital hired sex workers to teach us how to do pelvic and prostate exams. They were wonderful teachers and told us that they understood that their feedback about our technique would change our exam skills forever. We also practiced pelvic exams on each other. I still think a lot about the man who taught us how to examine his foreskin and testicles and prostate. It was a very important day in my career. WTF how was this even a thing? This is insane this was ever allowed to happen. Then these students go on to become nurses and doctors having learned that women's consent is not needed. That women patients are easier to deal with if they are just not able to speak. That women's pain does not matter. Might as well kick them out before they've even begun, you've already ruined them. I literally do not understand why the students can't learn how to do pelvic exams at, oh, I don't know, an OBGYN practice. Maybe? Instead of random unconscious women at the hospital? Has anyone consulted with a lawyer? Who's the burden on evidence on in case of rape? I wonder what would happen in case of women mass suing teaching hospitals for sexual assault? How is this not sexual battery in most states? This is an absolutely insane practice. I managed to learn how to do it in med school with conscious and consenting women pretty easily. Thankfully it looks like Colorado is currently trying to pass a bill that prevents this House Bill 1077. However, it shouldn't need to be written into law that unless you have explicit consent from patients, unnecessary and invasive medical procedures shouldn't be carried out while a patient is unconscious that should already be a part of the code of medical ethics with which doctors and medical students comply. Absolutely abhorrent that women have to fight for their right not to be sexually assaulted without their knowledge. This is sick. I just sent an email to my governor, hopefully you all will, too in the US, I mean. God, I hate it here. WTF had no idea this was legal. As someone who had a non-consensual pelvic exam while awake and telling them no, I don't consent to this and then being held down anyway and violated anyway this scares me a lot. I guess I'm not safe awake or asleep. Thanks for bringing more awareness to this. Child marriages are also still legal in many states. Women are considered secondary, 